What's going on guys? So I was challenged by my fellow YouTuber friend. Say it, say it. Yes, it's Tony Leverick Larson, baby. God, I love that name. Yes, you heard me right. That's the guy I did a collab with a month ago, which was really well received by you guys. The video got over 10,000 views. Holy shit. You can say that again. If you haven't seen it, there will be a link up here. Anyway, he challenged me to make a commercial for Haribo gummy bears using only stop motion. The last time I did stop motion video is when I was a small kid. I used to take out my dad's video camera and create these animations with my Lego figures. Sadly, I don't have the video anymore. I would have loved to show it to you. So Tony, I'm very excited to see what you have got. Bring it to me. Gummy bears, candy shaped troopers. Bro, boom. That was freaking awesome. You definitely did put a lot of work in it. All right, let me show you mine. So these were the videos. Let us know in the comments which you like best and why. Now let me show you how I created this stop motion video. Now how does stop motion work? In order to create stop motion, you will have to take multiple pictures and make small increment movements of the object between each picture. The smaller the movements, the more fluent your animation will be, but it could take longer. A single stop motion can take up hours. Uh, for this stop motion, it took me around two hours to make. I must say, you do need a lot of patience. The process gets tiring, but in the end, the results are really great. Now, using gummy bears for stop motion is probably the easier way uh, than using other foods, but I think it's a great way to start out. So this is how I built this set. I mounted my camera on the C-stand to create an overhead shot. You could also use a tripod. Important is that your camera doesn't move during the shoot. Use a shutter remote control so that you don't have to touch the camera. You can also use Lightroom if your camera supports it. This way you can connect your camera to your laptop. This is probably the best method since you don't have to use a remote and can trigger it from your laptop and see the images as you create them. Since the Sony a7 III doesn't support it, I went with the remote. Now for the lighting, you can light however you want or to your preference. You can use window light, but you have to be careful because the quality of the light will give you different exposure, which will take a lot of time to match in post. It's doable and I actually used both the window light and studio light, I use the Aperture 120D. It's important that you don't get any shadows in your shots whenever you animate uh, the object. So make sure to stand far away enough so that you don't block the light. Can't block me. For the camera settings, you want to put everything in manual mode. I don't know why I did that, it's just. So you wanna put everything in manual mode so that you have full control over your ISO, shutter, aperture, and white balance. I shoot with an aperture of f4, which will give me a solid depth of field, keeping the object in focus. I will be shooting in raw because I like my steak bloody raw. Yes. <laughs> No, this gives me the ability to be more flexible when color grading in post. You could also shoot in JPEG if you want to skip that process and save time. I shoot 16 by nine instead of three by two because I will be exporting this as a video and 16 by nine is the most common aspect ratio that is widely used. 
Now, once you have created that process of uh, taking images, moving the object, taking an image again, you can import all the images into Final Cut Pro X. Drag the images into your timeline, highlight all of the photos, right click on it and select change duration. Two seconds is about right to create a smooth animation. Create a new compound clip by right clicking and selecting new compound clip. Now you can color grade the video and export it to your social media platform. If you want to see how Tony did his stop motion video, I will leave a link to his channel in the video description below. Big thanks to Tony for reaching out to me and pushing those boundaries, man. How dare you challenge me? No, bro, always a pleasure working with you. If you haven't checked him out, I suggest you go over to his channel and check out a few of his videos. And if you like it, go smash that subscribe button of his. Also big thanks to you guys that have watched it till the end. I hope you got something out of it. If you are planning on creating a stop motion video, let me know, I would love to see it. Subscribe to my channel to support me so that you don't miss out on the next videos. Follow me on Instagram at Grazer. And as always, Ade und Tschüss miteinander. Wie ist das? Was that good? Yes? Ja, Baby! She likes it.